My name is Ning Zhou. I'm honored to have a chance to speak to you today. In this presentation, I would like to talk to you about the detectability analysis and its application for power system dynamic state estimation. In dynamic state estimation, observability analysis has often been used to uh, place measurement and select model so that DSE, dynamic state estimation, can converge to the true values. Following that guideline, we set up a state estimation, dynamic state estimation using IEEE 10 machine 39 bus system to estimate dynamic states of a uh, generator to estimate those states. And we use the UKF and send it to common filter to estimate those states and uh, for different input and output setup and to test whether the observability analysis can be used to guide the placement of measurement. We set up four different scenarios. But what surprised us is the case B. We set up case B with no output measurements there, which make it unobservable. But observe the state estimation results. We observe that the case B also converged to the true value. That gave us an indication that observability is only a sufficient condition for the existence of DSE observer. This observation motivates us uh, to perform the detectability analysis because here observability analysis can surely, the requirement can be relaxed. Uh, here is our analytical results. We have a, a power system dynamic model here. We can linearize it into a state space model here. And then we apply common decomposition to decompose the original states into the states that are observable and state that, that is not observable here. And based on that, we can construct an observer here. Based on those two models, we can find out their difference, which is estimation error. This is estimation error model here. Notice for the uh, observable states here, the eigenvalue can be controlled by KO. In contrast, for the unobservable states here, its eigenvalue cannot be controlled. That gives us a, a suggestion that if this A has a eigenvalue that is un, as unstable, then this uh, corresponding error will grow and make the uh, system diverge, state estimation diverge. Uh, in contrast, uh, the uh, for the observable states, we can always adjust KO so that eigenvalue here is kind of uh, stable and which give us a small and I mean, converged uh, state estimation results. Based on the detectability analysis guideline, we carry out a case study to verify our observation. Here we focus on case B and case D. Case B is a setup that has a uh, unobservable system, okay? We set up the voltage phaser as a measurement and output is none, so it's unobservable. But the DSE based on UKF converge, and we check out the rightmost eigenvalue, which is a negative value, and this is a stable system, so the results of the state estimation converge. In the other case, case D, we have a input uh, at the uh, current phaser as input, it also has uh, output as none. The case diverge and observe that the rightmost eigenvalue is unstable. That verify our results. Based on our study results, the following conclusion can be drawn. First, uh, the DSE observable will exist if the system is observable. Or if the system is unobservable, the unobservable state states have a stable eigenvalue, then the DSE observer will also converge. Uh, for a power system, we know that if we connect a subsystem into a power grid, there is a requirement that is saying the subsystem, when it connected to an infinite bus, the system has to be stable. Based on that, if we choose a, the terminal voltage of that subsystem as the input for the dynamic state estimation, we can guarantee to have a stable subsystem model that will give us the guaranteed detectability and convergence of the dynamic state estimation.